All right, so I've been spending a lot of time with this thing right here, the NVIDIA Shield tablet, playing a bunch of games on it. And even though the wireless Shield controller is still on its way, I got really impatient and I just picked up this Nyko PlayPad Pro for it, which actually has been working pretty well, and I'll get into that in the full review. But I wanted to show you some gaming experiences on here, even some comparisons with it and other top uh, games in another tablet, especially a top performing tablet. And after that, show you a couple of the experiences that are only available on the Shield experience. So it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is gaming on the Shield tablet. <laughs> So in this first section, I wanted to show you gaming on the Shield tablet, but compare it to the performance found on another tablet. So we have the NVIDIA Shield tablet right here, but as a control, as the comparison, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. Now this has a higher resolution display, but its processor arguably is not as good as the Tegra K1 that is found in this tablet in my right hand, uh, primarily for graphics performance. So the gaming will be a little bit different. And in my testing, I did find that to be the case. So let's start off with Real Boxing. This is one of the marquee uh, video games that are used uh, in order to really showcase what the Tegra K1 can do. And it has been showcased on the Nvidia Shield quite a few times already. So I wanted to use that as sort of our basis. Now you can see on the right side here is the Nvidia Shield tablet and on the left side is the Galaxy Tab S. And as you can see in the intro already, we have a slight slowdown in the frame rate already. It's just not quite as smooth on the Galaxy Tab S. And then we'll move on to another game, uh, one that I really enjoy. This one is Riptide GP2. Uh, I'm in the Pro-Am section of it, and I've actually been struggling a little bit, but you'll see me tackle a race on both of these tablets. Now, water effects are usually pretty tough. If anybody out there who does gaming can attest to this, water effects are usually one of the hardest things to render on a graphics card, uh, especially one on a mobile device. Uh, the Tegra K1 does a great job in this case. These settings are all put at maximum for this, and real boxing before it. And you can already see that the water effects splashing off of the boat, uh, or rather the, the, the jet ski, are already looking better on the Tegra K1. After that, once I hit a stunt and then come down to the water, the splash causes a slowdown on the Galaxy Tab S. Now you can argue that the higher resolution of the Galaxy Tab S is to blame somewhat for this slowdown, but at the same time, you have to have the right processing package in order to really render everything properly. And the Tegra K1 is certainly the trump card for the Shield tablet and puts it, um, puts it above the Galaxy Tab S in terms of general gaming performance. But let's go ahead and stop these comparisons and get into some great games that are only available on the Shield experience. These are games that are pretty much only available on this tablet or on the Shield Portable, but of course we're working with the brand new Shield tablet today. And this is Trine 2, which is available pre-installed on Shield tablets, and I've actually been having a pretty good time with this. I never played the first Trine, and to be fair, I'm not the best platformer out there, but it does look really great on this Shield tablet, so I'm going to go ahead and let you just see some of the fun uh, that you can have on this particular game. And then we move on to somewhat of a different genre, primarily because we have all of these games that are being remade or remastered, or rather just being put onto the Android platform, but some of them are only available on the Shield platform. And Valve brought Half-Life 2, and in this case, Portal, one of my favorite games of all time, to the Shield tablet. Now, um, you'll see me go through this puzzle right now. It works beautifully, and using the Nyko PlayPad Pro, it does work quite well. Having that controller is a breeze when it comes to using this tablet and playing the games that it supports. Very. 
Very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. And finally, speaking of games that are only available on NVIDIA Shield, I did want to make a quick section on here about NVIDIA Grid. Now, Grid is NVIDIA's own cloud gaming solution, and it is only available for people in North America at the moment because the servers are found up in NorCal. And uh, basically, you need to have a really good wireless connection in your home or otherwise, and you need to have, of course, a Shield tablet or Shield portable. And what will happen is you are able to connect to the Shield, uh, or rather NVIDIA servers that are found in San Jose and connect uh, in order to play a number of different PC games that are being streamed directly to your tablet. Now this is a beta version which means there will be some slowdowns but I decided to fire up one of my favorite games of all time Super Street Fighter 4 and uh, select my favorite character Fei Long and see what the performance was on that. I have tried it with The Witcher 2 and also Borderlands and they do work quite well but I will say this you really have to have a very fast connection but the very nature of streaming games from the the cloud uh, means that your latency will not be at its best. Uh, you, some of your controller presses may not go through perfectly, and th that is certainly true for fighting games. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken and then this Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition are available in the NVIDIA grid, and unfortunately the presses just aren't really as good as they should be for anyone competitively trying to play in this fighting game. But nonetheless, I, it's definitely serviceable and I had a lot of fun beating, some, beating the crap out of a couple of the characters <laughs> inside of this game. But we're going to have that full review in a little bit, including everything from benchmarks to battery tests to really what you need to know about this tablet to see if it is the one for you. And there are a lot of other tablets on the market out there, so I am going to compare the NVIDIA Shield tablet to a few of them next week. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of that best coverage and also for coverage from my colleagues in Android. You can see a couple of them right over on the side. So keep it tuned here, drop us some likes, subscribe if you haven't already, and after that, head on over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things. Things. Android.